Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, in today's video, we're going to be modeling a wooden barrel. Now, there's the easy way and there's the uh, less easy way. I wouldn't say a hard way, but it's uh, the more proper way as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, you can take a cylinder and just shape it, right? But that's not what we're doing. We're going to model all the individual elements, okay? And uh, I think that the modeling techniques involved, uh, yeah, are good for you uh, to know in your uh, toolkit, if you will. So yeah, let's get started. So we're going to make individual slats for the barrel. So we're going to take a polygon cube. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that out until we have the approximate height that we want. That looks to be about right. We're going to flatten that, of course. It's going to be slats. And we're going to go in here. We're going to go to edge. And we're going to take these two. And we're going to bring them together. Because you want to have that edge going on there. Like so. Okay. Now, these slats need to bend, of course. So for that, they need subdivision. So we're going to go to insert edge loop. Let's do... Um, I think 10 should be fine. That looks to be about right. Okay. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into object mode. And then we're going to go to, uh, where is it again? Deform, nonlinear, and bend. And then we're going to make sure that we are in the right direction. Okay. So we're going to uh, hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Right now, if we move it, you'll see that there's not that much going on. So what we need to do is we need to bend that, or no, sorry, rotate that. So we're going to hit E to rotate, hold down J, flip it down. And now we're still not there because now it's bending in that direction. Okay. So what we need to do next is we need to rotate it down like this. And I'm not quite there yet, looks like. So hold down J, there you go. And of course we need to bend the other way, but that's fine, right? So now the only thing we need to do is rotate this around. So we're gonna just flip it until we're completely up like this, okay? Now this is of course a bit much, so and I only did that so I could see the direction. So we're going to go with something quite subtle, something like that. That should be fine. Now, what you need to do next is you need to make sure that you delete the history on this. So we're going to go to edit, delete by type history. So if you open up the outliner, you'll see that the, um, the instruction that we used for the bend is gone. We just have the cube left, right? So I can now move it wherever I want. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do is we're going to create the individual elements and then we're going to rotate that around. Okay, so we got this. We're going to control D to duplicate, W to move, and then we're going to move it over until it's almost touching, right? So let's close the outliner. Let's close that so we can see what's going on. Okay, so we want this to pretty much touch. Okay, now we're going to shift D number of times let's see you've got six seven eight nine ten not sure how many we have right here i'll put it uh, underneath but that's why it's always trial and error right well we got this so now we're going to go to uh, edit delete by type history mesh and Combine, let's go to modify and center pivot. Then we're going to move it to the center of our grid. So hit W, hold down X to snap it. There you go. And let's try this again. Okay, so we're going to go to deform, nonlinear, and bend. Then we're going to hit E to rotate, hold on J, flip down our bend handle. Let's give this another try. Much, much better. Okay. And as you move this all the way around, you'll see that it's a nice close, right? Okay, cool. Right, now we have that. We're going to drag select it again, edit, delete by type, and history. 
and now we can hit E to rotate, hold on J and flip it down like so. Let's go to modify and center pivot. Jump to the center of our grid, hit W, hold on X. There you have it. And then we want it sitting higher. There you go. Okay. All right, not too bad. And now we're going to take uh, a couple of boards and we're going to close that up, right? So we've got a lid and a bottom. And for that, what we'll do is we'll take a polygon cube and we'll raise that up. Lit R to scale that out. And we kind of want to do this manually, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that we don't have any faces we don't need to have. And uh, let me just uh, isolate this guy, hit control one. So I don't need this, this, or this. Delete that. We're going to go in here and we're going to select these two. Control E to extrude, W to move down. And R to flare out just a tiny bit. So we have that. We're going to go to display show all. Uh, actually, I isolated this, control one to get it back. Yep, there you go. So we've got that and we're gonna make it fit. Okay, so we're gonna hit five. It's kind of hard to see from here. I think this is the best view, all right? And what we need to do next is insert some edge loops. So we're gonna go to insert edge loop. Let's do five and put them in this direction. Actually, five is a bit much, I think. We'll try it with three. Right, so we've got three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, vertex mode. Let's try that again. And then we're gonna hit R, and we're gonna kind of scale that. And as long as we are within the wall of the barrel, if you will, we're good. Okay. Now we are going to raise this up a little bit. So chances are that they will be sticking out now, as you can see. So we need to sort that, right? So we're going to go to vertex. So we're going to drag, select these. And we're going to hit R and we're going to slightly scale that back. This one as well. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to move on to the next one, right? So we're going to hit Control D, and of course this is symmetrical, so we only have to do it on one side. Make sure there's no gap between the boards, because we would have a leaking barrel. We don't want that, right? But we do want to have that detail. Okay. So we're going to go to Vertex again. And we're going to hit R, we're going to pull that in, go to the next one, next one, and next one. And then we're going to jump over, Control D, W to move. And this works for, of course, the top and the bottom, right? So there you go. That's fine. We're going to get a vertex. We're going to drag select all of them. We're going to push them down like so. Then we're going to take the next set, push them down. Do that again. This might look tedious but it will look way better in the end right so we've got that one more time control d to duplicate w to move we're going to move it over like this let's make sure there's no gap and there you go we're going to get a vertex we're going to go and pull them all in
and then this right here we can delete that all right so now we can take <clears throat> excuse me in object mode one two and three come on object mode one two three and we're going to go to mesh and uh, combine and then we're going to uh, control e to rotate actually no uh, mike what are you doing um control d to duplicate that's what i meant yeah we're gonna flip this around like so we're gonna w we're gonna move it okay then we're gonna take the whole thing we're gonna go to mesh and combine we're gonna rotate this a little bit why well because it looks better and then we're gonna hit control d to duplicate we're gonna hit w we're gonna move it down to the bottom we're gonna flip it around hit e w to push that up there you go after frame let's push that down a little bit so that's our bottom that's our top cool cool now we need a banding on here so uh, let's do that we're going to go in here and we're going to take a polygon cylinder all right we're going to jump into the top we're going to go in here and set the subdivision level to 40. then we're going to go in here and we're going to right click the face get rid of not that get rid of all the interfaces so these yeah then we're going to go in here we're going to go and hit r to push that in r to scale it out w to push down and we're going to start to position this and again top and bottom are symmetrical right so we're going to hit r to scale it in we want this to be thinner that's about right we're going to look at the bottom edge okay and this will have some thickness so no worries we're going to go to the top edge and we are going to uh, hit r and we're going to scale that in a little bit not too much like so and then from here what we're going to do is extrude so let's say 0 0.1 that might be a bit much 0 0.05 maybe yeah that's better okay 0 0.05 and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to add two edge loops so we're going to go in uh, manual set one here set one there then we're going to go to mesh and uh, smooth there you have it we're going to control d to duplicate e to rotate hold on j flip it around like so hit w push it down so that should be good a little bit lower not too much that's about right and then we want a few in the middle so we're going to hit control d to duplicate w to move up to about there we're going to scale it out to about there right Control D to duplicate again, E to rotate again, hold on J, flip it around, hit W, push that up. Let's make sure we have the same distance. And I find the best way to see that is you got this little uh, thing up here where it says screen space ambient occlusion. And as you turn that on, you will see that it's much easier to identify all the components, right? So let me select all of it. Let's go to, yeah, it's turned on. You can see the difference on the top here, right? You got that shading going on. If I turn it off or on, right, much better. So that looks uh, pretty good. Uh, only thing left is to have an opening in the top if you want this to be for fluids. Yeah, you don't have to, but you can. And if you want to do that, then it's uh, quite simple. You take a polygon um, cylinder and you make it a lot smaller. 
let's uh, push that up push it over here and then you flare out the top right so we're gonna get a face we can hold on the tab key let's hit R to scale that out W to move up we're gonna scale down the whole thing Let's go in here and we're going to go to edge. Let's hit uh, bevel. Segment, there you go. That's a bit big still. So there you go. And there you have it. So that's our barrel. Now, um, Barrels always look better when you have more than one, right? So we're going to go to Mesh and uh, Combine. And we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to hit W to move it over. Let's hit E to rotate. Hold on J. Put it on the floor. Like this. Then we're going to hit uh, Control D again. Let's move one over here. And of course, we're going to rotate it because we don't want it to have the same angle. We're going to hit the shift to D, move another one. And once again, rotate. And then we're going to put two on top here. Let's say uh, control D to duplicate, W to move up. And there you want to be precise, otherwise it looks off completely. And you need to get in close because you need to see where the barrel is touching. And that's going to be in the middle, right? So we'll rotate this one as well. Okay, that's it for our barrels. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions or suggestions, uh, please let me know. I would be happy to oblige, right? Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.